Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing on this beautiful Saturday? It's been a minute. I really have been enjoying my break and the time that I've been spending with God to get that refill that, <clears throat> that I've needed. God woke me up this morning. And um, if you haven't seen the title, the title of this word is Game Over done playing I don't have no more time to waste it's time to get back in pursuit it's time to put that armor back on it's time to go go back and take what's yours and the subtext is playoff playoff it's game time let's do this we got to let the enemy know that we're not backing down anymore. We're not sitting on the sideline anymore. We're not going to just allow him to beat us down anymore. The definition of playoff is a competitive sport. The playing of an extra game, round, any, etc., in order to settle a tie. We are in the fight of our lives. The things we go up and pursue, we needed to live. We needed to flourish. We needed to, to be everything <clears throat> that God is calling us to be in this hour. We can no longer sit back. We can no longer make excuses. We can no longer be okay with being okay. It's time to fight back. God said the battle is not ours, but we have to show up. Are you willing to show up this morning? Are you willing to show up for you this morning? Are you willing to show up for your family this morning? Let me read this in my Bible study. <clears throat> And that, again, that reference scripture, excuse me, is 1 Samuel 17 and 38. <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. <clears throat> I wasn't having no problem with my voice until I came on. <laughs> so the enemy doesn't want someone to be free this morning. But if you stick around long enough, you can be free. And again, that reference scripture is 1 Samuel 17 and 38. Criticism. Couldn't stop David. You can't allow nothing to stop you in this morning. This morning. Not even your own voice. While the rest of the army stood around. You're going to have people standing around. They're going to be looking. They're going to be judging. They're going to be talking about you. They're going to be mocking you. But you have to be passionate about what you are pursuing. And why you are pursuing it. He knew the importance of of taking action. Sometimes you just got to know, look, it's my time. It's go time. It's game time. No more putting off. No more playing it safe. I believe so many people love to play it, play it safe because they don't think that they can deal with the controversy. They don't think that they can deal with the naysayers. They don't think, you know, they don't want that smoke as the world. So you don't, you know, they don't want that smoke. So they play it safe. Whatever the devil is taking, they just said, well, I, you know, you start justifying. Well, I, I mean, I really didn't need it. I mean, I can do, I can do without it. I can use something else. You know how we do. With God to fight. Okay, let me start a little. Criticism couldn't stop David while the rest of the army stood around. <clears throat> he knew the importance of taking action. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, this must be for somebody. With God to fight for him, there was no reason to wait. God is saying there's no more. You, you done done enough uh, 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 waiting, procrastinating, making excuses, justifying. People try to discourage you. People may try to discourage you with negative comment, comments or mockery. Keep moving. Keep pursuing. Keep pressing. 
but continue to do what you know is right. If you know what you're doing is right, you got to silence the voices, the negative comments, the mockery, the lies. You got to just be determined that I, I got some things that I lost. I got some things that I allowed the enemy to take. I got some things that I just handed it to him. I, ju I just didn't want to fight anymore. By, you know, you just continue to do what is right. You will be pleasing God. When you just continue to do what's right, people's not going to always agree. People's not going to always understand. People's not going to always support you. People's not going to always encourage you. But if you know you're doing what's right, what else do you need? What other voice do you need to hear? Whose opinion matters most? We have gotten so caught up in worrying about what man is saying, what man thinks. Who are you trying to please in this hour? Whose opinion matters most? If God said to pursue, you need to be in position to pursue it. Let me read this. Things that God was giving me, I just kind of jotted it down. Because <laughs> this sister be forgetting stuff. And, you know, the Holy Spirit get to talking to you. And he be talking, you know, I mean, it just be coming, you know. And um, there's no way I can remember all that. So I did jot some things down. And I'm just going to read it to you. And I'm going to get on out your way. I got to work this morning. How's everyone doing? I pray that everyone's morning gotten off to an amazing start. I know people's probably up and at the grocery stores getting ready for this, um, the holiday Memorial Day. Um, but why are you preparing for Memorial Day? Why are you getting ready to celebrate? Why are you getting ready to have a good time? Remember. There's something you need to be pursuing other than charcoal, other than ribs, other than steak, other than potato salad. There's something else that when all that's over, there's still something that you need to be fighting for, that you need to be longing for. Let me get into this. What is God telling you to to pursue, to take back, to fight for. We all have something we need to be pursuing. We have allowed circumstances, situation, losses, people, divorce, molestation, abortion, to stop, to stop, and to hinder our pursuit. We have allowed the lies of the enemy to back us into a corner. But God is calling you and me out today. And he is saying, go up, take back what the devil took, what you allowed him to take, what you didn't feel you was worthy to hold on to. You don't have to get permission. The devil is on standby. He has been notified that you are on your way to take back your your possession. You may say, Yolanda, but what is, what is my possession? Because I really don't know what they are. Your peace, your joy, your happiness, your life, your marriage, your family, your promises, your promised land. Just like in the natural, when someone break in, break in your home, what do you do? You go, you go fill out a police report. You give them the necessary information needed for them to pursue, to be on the lookout for what was stolen. Same in the spirit realm. You know what was stolen, removed stripped. It's time to go back. It's time to go and take it back. It's time to go back and claim it. It's time to go back up and claim it. No more sitting on the sideline or peeking through the cracks. No more justifying. No more being okay. It's time to fight. It's time to get out, get out of the rut and pursue you don't need permission. You don't need validation. You don't need a police report. God 
God has already showed you what's yours. And you can't pursue like anyone else because your pursuit is going to look different because your possession is different. Our fight is going to be different because we are fighting for different things. I may not be fighting for a marriage, but you are. I may not be fighting for children, but you might be. So whatever you are fighting for, your ministry, your, you know, just whatever it is, your health, whatever it is you are fighting for. Your fight is not going to look like my fight and my fight is not going to look like your fight, but it's a fight. Your passion, how you move, how you show up is going to be different. We have no, we have no more time or excuses to use. We've ran, we use all the excuses. It's time now to just get up. No more validation is needed. You have been validated. People will try to hinder your pursuit because they may have what you are pursuing. So be careful of the advice you are receiving. Be careful in this hour because not everybody means mean you any good. Not everybody have your back. Not everybody wants to see you win. Not everybody wants to see you make it. So be very careful of the advice that you are receiving in this hour. Be intentional, strategic in this hour. Your life depends on it. And don't take anything that will weigh you down, press you out, or cause you to stop what you are pursuing. Your life depends on it. You have been on life support because you stopped pursuing. You stopped fighting. God is saying this morning, get back up. Get back up again. Start again. Fight again. Pursue again. Cast your net again. No longer focusing on what you've done, but praise him for what you're doing. You got to let go of the past. You got to let go of what was said. You got to let go of what hurt you. You got to let go of who wasn't there for you. You got to be okay with who didn't encourage you, who didn't support you. All those things are distractions. If God is asking you to cast your net once again, don't think about all the other times that you cast and nothing was on the other end. Sometimes we pursued at the wrong time and in the wrong spirit. Let me read that again. If God is asking you to cast your net once again, don't think about all the other times that you cast and nothing was on the other end. Sometimes we pursued at the wrong time and in the wrong spirit. But if God is saying, this is your season of overflow, this is your season of more than enough, Give him your lack, your two fish and five loaves, and allow him to multiply it. When we move, when God tells us to move, God has already set the stage. He, he, has, he has everything already in order. When he tells you to go, there's nothing you need to do. But just get up, put your armor on, and go. We have to be like David. We can't allow anything or anyone, no lie, no unforgiveness, no bitterness, no hatefulness to stop us. However way God is telling you and I to pursue, we got to, we got to remove all distractions. Unforgiveness, bitterness, hatefulness. You got to let all that stuff go. Because that, that's going to hinder your pursuit. That's going to get in the way of your pursuing. If you, want, if you want back what you lost, get in position, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. God is saying it's yours. And when the devil see you coming, he's going to hand it to you. Why? Because he understands God... He understand God told you to go. 
God is telling you to move. God is telling you it's time. God is telling you it's waiting for you. Sometimes we're afraid to move because we're thinking about the backlash. We don't want the fight. We don't want the smoke. But the devil is just waiting. He's looking out. He said, where are they at? <laughs> are, are they coming? I'm standing here waiting with their stuff. But we have allowed fear to stop us, to handicap us, to cripple us. Um, what was I read? He's going to hand it. He's going to hand it to you because he understands God told you to go. The devil knows if you coming. If you if you coming, you will sin. He knows if you actually get in position to come after him, he know God sent you. He know God told you to go to, to come and get it. He's waiting for you to just show up. But you have allowed, I have allowed fear to rob me of things that God said was mine. That is, that I need to take along my journey. That's going to help me to stay in the race. What are you in pursuit of this morning? What have God told you to go up and pursue this morning? What have you just gave up on this morning? What did you get tired of fighting for this morning? Your life needs it. Your life depends on it. Get back up again. Start fighting again. Start persevering again. Stop allowing people and even yourself to stop you from fighting. See, I know what it is to stop fighting. I stopped fighting because I didn't feel worthy. I didn't make all the right decisions. I wasn't perfect. I didn't make all the right moves. So I didn't feel worthy to pursue anything. I gave up fighting. I sat on the sideline. I cheered others on. I helped others make it. But I wasn't there for me. I didn't care enough about me. And God was dealing with me this morning. He said, you just, you gave up. You gave up. You gave up. You threw in the towel. You was tired of fighting. You was tired of the smoke. You was tired of the backlash. You was tired of the lies. You was tired of the discord. And you just gave up. But you can't win by giving up. You got to get back in the race. You got to get back up. You got to fight again. You got to put your armor back on again. Everything that you took off, you need to put it back on. Because you're going to need it in this fight. And whatever God is telling you to put on, that's all you need to put on. Don't try to put on what somebody else had on. Don't try to show up how nobody else showed up. Just move how God tells you to move. Show up how God told you to show up. You don't need to look like anyone else. It doesn't matter that that's what they had to do to get it. That's their testimony. That's their story. You don't have to show up how they showed up. That's their testimony. That's their story. 
Move how God is telling you to move this morning. Let your guards down. Cast your net out once again. Because when you cast it out this time, you're going to pull back. You're going to reel in more than you ever thought that you could. And it's going to be such an overflow. You're going to need help. You're going to need strength to help lift it, to help, to help carry it. It's going to be an overflow. It's going to be more than enough. So I'm here to encourage someone to get back up again. Start again. If you're writing a book, Get back to it. Get your pen. Get your paper. Starting a business. Get back on it. If God told you to pursue, now is the time. You don't have to give up on your dreams, on what you desire. Just include God. Allow him to order your footstep. But today God is saying, game over. Game over. Done. Finish. I'm ready. Let's do this. You won't smoke, here it is. Playoff. God is... He has extended your time to give you time to show up again. That's what they do in those playoffs. Forget about how you played in the game. The playoff is something different. You got to show up a certain way in the playoff. You got to, you know, <laughs> you got to be ready to, to move differently in the playoffs. Because why? You're there to claim that trophy, that certificate, that reward, monetary, whatever it may be. So you're moving a little different. You're showing up a little different. You got more confidence. You're saying to yourself, we got this. We can do this. If God is for you, who can be against you? It's time to fight. It's playoff time. It's time to show up being the best you that you can be. Don't let you down. Fight. I gotta go. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, speak life over your circumstance, your situation, your friends, your family, your foes. Those that gave up on you. Those that said that you would never go anywhere. Those that said you would never make it. Those that said that you would ever, you would always be an alcoholic, a drug addict, a prostitute. Speak life over them as well. You have nothing to lose but everything to gain. Until next time, stay blessed. It's game time. It's time to put, put your money where, where your mouth is. And go up and pursue. Take back. What God is saying for you to go up. And retrieve. Reclaim. The devil's just waiting for you to show up. He's standing at the door with it all packed up. It's already packed up. You, you're not even going to have to wait. Because when he see you coming. He know that you were sent. Until next time, have an awesome day and be safe during the holidays. You know, so much is so much is going on, so we have to be careful. Sometimes all we think about is celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. But we don't know what's going to happen. So just, just be careful. Be safe as best you can. Until next time, everyone have an amazing day.